for the execution part, first we have to create the data file, then we have to upload that file into system. So let's create a data file with some material details. So as you already know the field details, I will copy this field and here I will select as transpose and will maintain the data here as my industry sector was A and it is going to be common for all the material codes. The material type is ROH. Here material description, let's say flat D103, flat let's say D104. Based on our requirement, we have to create all the details and my unit of measure going to be constant FT2, FT2, FT2. For this also we can use the constant concept but as in real time this may be different that's why I'm selecting as a structure source field flat, flat and last one also flat. So now my details are ready. So I'll copy this all the details and I'll paste in a text file. This is my text file with the name source. I'm entering here all the details. As I'm creating only three material in real time, you might have thousand material codes. Okay, so now I've created my source file. We have to load that into a SAP system. For that, select this option, specify files. Double click on the first one that is legacy data. Select our source file as I have created with the name source. This is a text file I have created. Give the name, we can give any name source file with three materials. You can give any name. And here you can see data for one source file or data for multiple source file, source structures. So as in our scenario where only single source structure, so keep the setting as it is. Now as you copy the data from Excel to text file, so by default, the delimiter will be tabulator. If you're using any other separator like no separator, comma, blank, etc. or semicolon, we have to select the respective, uh, respective one as per requirement. And in the file name, in the text file, I don't have field name at the start of the file. That's why I'm going with the second option that is field order matches source structure definition. Keep the remaining setting as it is, press enter, click on save. Now we have assigned our field, uh, file here. Next is assign file. Just come and click on save. If you have multiple source structure, in that case we have to select the respect to source structure and you have to assign the file from here. As we have only one source structure and only one file, system will do the mapping directly. Go back, now read data. In the read, read data, system will read our text file. So we can see three metals are there. Go back, display read data. Here you can see the data. See all the details like A, R, O, H, or flight codes. Next is convert data. In the convert data system will convert to the internal format. If you're using any conversion rule, system will apply the conversion rule here and this will get converted accordingly. As we are not use any conversion rule, so after convert data, we can display the converted data and all will be in the same format. To see the details, click here. So we can see all the details, the target structure and our source field values. Like this, you can see the values for all the records. Like you upload three data records, so you can see material one, two, and three data records are here. It's not direct input program. Execute this program. Select the first radio button as it is. Here, select the second radio button using physical file name. Don't change any other setting. Now here you can see check data but do not update. Let's say if you're doing first time and you're not sure if there are any errors and all, so you can select this checkbox for first time. 
like check data but don't update. This is like a simulation without inserting data into database. Select and execute. You're working online. Okay. Press enter. Press enter. Transition three completed, maternal number of log errors zero. Okay. There are no error. So you can see these are temporary metal because we are running in a simulation mode, uh, simulation mode. If any errors are there, you can see the error here with the red icon. Go back. So now there is no error. I will remove this checkbox. I will execute again. Press enter. Enter. You can see transition 3 process completed and errors are zero. Now see this time here, we can see the material codes are generated 554, 555 and 556. Transition, no plant data exists, warning message, no issue, warning message and last match is green that is material 554 is created. So in this way, all the three materials are created which we have uploaded through the file. So let's cross check whether it is created or not. So for that, go to T code mm03 or 02 here i will select mm03 i will enter 554 so you can see here the flag d103 which is the first data in my record so in this way you have seen how it can create the lsmw using direct input method you have seen how to to the design part and then the execution part. So now our testing is done in the development system and it is ready to move to the quality or the production system. So next we will see how to transfer this LSNW from development system to quality or the PRD. That we will see in the next session.